All right, let's talk about a writing plan. Hi, I'm Hananya Leclerc. I am a multi-genre writer who shares tips and tricks and talks about her life. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, I am not maybe the right person to talk about this because I suck at planning my goals and actually sticking to them. So I'm gonna try my best to actually get through this. <laughs> In general, I do think it's a good idea if you want to reach a certain goal that you kind of sort of plan it out in a way that you are able to reach it and you kind of have a clear goal of what you need to do, when you need to do it, and how to kind of get to your big goal. Now, I am not someone who's very good at sticking to those kinds of goals unless it's like a NaNoWriMo type setting, which is actually very strange if you think about it it's almost as if I need the peer pressure and kind of the overall event of like, I want to say I made it to actually do it instead of doing it for myself. But somehow NaNoWriMo does push me to actually do the things. Whereas if it's just me that I'm doing it for, I'm usually like, eh, I don't feel like it today. I'm not going to do it. So that's opposite of usually the advice I give people. So I really should listen to my own advice more. So once you've set your goal, and if you haven't, and if you haven't seen that video that I did on that, then please go watch that first. But basically, once you've set your goal, you can kind of plan out what you need to do, by when, and how many times you need to sit down and actually write, how many times you're going to have to really schedule this in, how many times you plan on writing. So if you plan on writing twice a week, five times a week, whichever you can do in your schedule, you kind of want to see if you can plan that in. And now comes a part of like, how do I actually do this? And how do I make sure that I actually stick to my writing plan the way that I have set it up? So what I tend to do with writing plans and stuff, which I don't usually do, but if I did do it for Nano, for example, and when I did the Mill Wordy challenge, which I have done in the past, but I kind of did it half Mill Wordy and then kind of worked out, but kind of didn't work out in the end. So yeah, like I said, I don't usually stick to these kinds of things. I don't know what that says about me, but here we are. Whenever I did that, I did set up a spreadsheet or some type of tracker to kind of see how far I was in my progress and how far I still needed to go and kind of what that would mean on a daily basis or monthly basis, depending on how I was tracking things with that goal. So for the Mill Wordy Challenge, I ended up using a spreadsheet I created for myself, but also a website called Pacemaker. So if you're familiar with NaNoWriMo and that website and how that works, basically on the NaNoWriMo website, you can fill in a word count goal or hours or chapters. If you want to just, you know, abuse the system, you can. Usually it is a word count goal. So if you fill in, for example, the 50K, you fill that in over 30 days, it gives you, this is the word count you need every single day. Now, if you miss a couple days or if you do more or less, it will recount how much you need for that day in order to still finish and reach your goal if you do that daily basis thing. So that is great. And it's awesome and I like having that because then I can see, okay, I am at this point. If I now write today, I write this, then I'm still on track for my goal. And I kind of like to see that because I know what I need, what I need to do, how far I am with my goal, how I'm still going to be able to get there. It's kind of a clear view on how to get to your goal. What Pacemaker does and what I enjoy is you can kind of set, okay, I'm only going to write on Monday and Friday, for example, and then it can calculate based on that. Or if you say exclude the weekends, then it will kind of exclude those. Or if you say do more on the weekends, then it will calculate it so that you do more on the weekends. And that can be beneficial if you have specific ways that you want to start writing this book and not necessarily daily, which the NaNoWriMo website does. You can use a NaNoWriMo website after NaNoWriMo or in between camps. You can still use it. It's not only for NaNoWriMo. You can still use it during the year in different projects. It doesn't have to be associated with an actual NaNo event. You can just use it on the side as well. So you can use it. <laughs> but with this pacemaker, you can do multiple different things in the actual settings of how you want to calculate the word count you have to do every single day. And that is something that I enjoy. However, on the pacemaker website, I think you can only do two projects and they are public, which in theory, the NaNoWriMo website does the same thing. So it doesn't really matter. It's also public. But if you're someone that's kind of private and you don't want people to see 
that kind of stuff, then a spreadsheet might be your best option. So a spreadsheet can be set up in different ways. I am someone that's very much a nerd for spreadsheets. I love spreadsheets. I use them for all my tracking and I have them calculate automatically if I want to. I can do all the formula little thingies if I need to. I'm not an expert pro on it, so I don't usually do the graphs or charts and stuff like that, but I do tend to use basic formula structure to get them to add up the things, divide it by however much I need or like stuff like that. So I can do that. Some people might not be able to do that. So if you're not a star in those spreadsheets, then spreadsheets might be a challenge for you. But it is a way that you can do this if you want to do something different and not have it be super public. In my research for this video, I also found two other websites, which I haven't actually checked out. So do this at your own risk. But these were recommended on a generic website when I was looking for it. And it's writetrack.cloud. It's supposed to be one where you can also track your word count and kind of see. And then another one is mywriteclub.com. Now, again, I don't know how these two work. I haven't actually checked them out. So use them at your own discretion, but they might be able to help you kind of set out your word count goals or track it once you want to do that and make sure that you kind of stick to your plan that you originally set. And it kind of, you know, is dynamic, especially with the pacemaker one and the NaNoWriMo website. It's, it changes based on what you do. So if you do less, then it will adjust your goal. If you do more, then it will adjust your goal. So it's dynamic in that way because your goal is never just linear. Like that barely ever happens, right? You want to be flexible in the way that when life kind of comes at you and you're not able to reach your goal that day, that it will adjust it for you. Or you can do it yourself, depending on what you want to do. Another good way to kind of stay on track with your goal is to announce it to the world. And I know that that is kind of what I said before with the NaNoWriMo stuff. For me, somehow it works when I'm like saying it to the world that I'm like doing this because then it's like, okay, now I've told someone. So now I have to do it by this time because if not, then I'm not only letting myself down, but I'm letting that person down that is expecting me to do it. And that's kind of how my brain is wired, which is not necessarily the healthiest, I will admit, but that is kind of how my brain sometimes works. So you can see if maybe you want to do that, if you want to share it on social media, if you want to share it to maybe a couple of your friends that can kind of keep you accountable if you are falling off the track a little bit, or just so that they can regularly check in with you to see, hey, you said you were going to do this. Are you still doing that? And how far are you? And just to kind of check in on you, or you can have someone that's going to do this with you. So if you have a buddy that wants to do the same kind of goal in the same amount of time, or just in general wants to write, you know, a book or wants to write certain things, and you are on the same kind of track, then you might be able to check in with each other. So that can also help. So accountability buddies in general is a way that you could stay on track with your goal if that's what you wanted to do. For me specifically, that's kind of what I need. I need maybe some type of way that I'm going to be, this is what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna do about this time and actually do it. Because I keep postponing working on my books so that I can do other things. And yes, I enjoy doing those other things, but then at the end, I feel guilty for not writing and I actually miss writing a lot. Ever since I published this story in the Stitching Collection and I, I published my story in there, that's the only time I actually wrote this year. I did do a 10K day and I've been working on my vampire book for this series and with this series, which is good. But at the same time, am I really making progress in my writing? The answer is kind of no. And ever since the summer, I said to myself, I wanted to do more writing, but here I am sitting down doing videos for you guys instead of writing, which is fine because I enjoy doing videos for you. But at the same time, I'm not actually actively writing, which I should be better at if I'm advising other people to stick to a plan. <laughs> One of my friends actually recently started doing the Milwardy challenge, and that is kind of motivating me to also attempt to write more even if I'm not gonna do another Milwardy, I don't think that will ever be something that I can achieve unless I fully quit my job and I do writing full time. But even then I think it might be still hard. So we'll see, maybe someday, but right now I don't think that's a feasible goal for me. But what is a feasible goal is to just do more writing. And however that looks, at least if I'm doing some type of writing, I know that I can get back into that groove of, of actually writing because I've kind of lost that a lot and I want to get back into it. So for me, my goal is to be actually actively writing, which is going to be hard, but 
I'm gonna try. It's also hard because I'm going away for a bit and then I have other things in my life going on, but I'm gonna try and be better at actually writing. If you're struggling with your goal and you kind of want to maybe have some motivation or if you want to find someone who can be your accountability buddy, then leave something down in the comments. Maybe someone else will see your comment and be, hey, I also want an accountability buddy and we can maybe be accountable to each other. So that's a way to connect maybe if you want to leave something down below and reach out to each other, then feel free to do so. If you need some motivation, I'll make sure to reply to your comment and kind of give you a pep talk if you need one. So hopefully everything is going well with your goal, but if not, or if you are doing well, let us know in the comments and that way I can celebrate with you and cheer you on. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already so that you can stick around for the upcoming videos in this series.